Welcome to One Foot on the Ground. This is Ashley. And this is Johnny. And today we are discussing the film, I totally forgot the name of it. One One Cut cut of the Dead. Of the Dead, thank you. Uh, (laughs) I kept wanting to say One Cut Horror Film. (laughs) (laughs) I mean, yes and no. (laughs) Um, One Cut of the Dead from from 2019. What is it? 2019? 2017. Yeah, that too. That too. 2017. Uh, <laughs> I remember that. Look at you. Um, so. What is it about? <laughs> I knew you were going to ask me that. So this is a film, movie. Well, okay. Ashley tricked uh, <laughs> me yet again. <laughs> Hardcore. Because I started watching this. And I was kind of mad because I was like, I cannot believe she is making me watch this because it was like, it was like a bunch of friends got together and made some crappy like horror movie. And I I, I, I should be, uh, care- I should be careful of how I say that because I have friends that make horror films <laughs> um, and they do a great job. And this was technically good because when I realized, I was like, okay, for, it's one one take. That's very yeah. impressive. Very cool. I like the coordination, the blah, blah, blah. But there was a lot of stuff going on that I was like, I cannot believe she's making me watch this. And I kept pausing it to see how much longer I had. And <laughs> I was livid because I was like, I cannot believe this movie is this long. I don't know how anybody could sit through this for that long. And what could they possibly do? So then when it got to like, what, 30-ish minutes? And these are going to, like, up right up front we should mention, we're going to spoil the shit out of this. So Yeah, and I would recommend... Um, stop now and you go stopping watch the movie. if you haven't watched the movie. Because... Um, <laughs> it's, it's actually pretty good. <laughs> because, and that's where I'm, I'm getting there. So, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but I want people to know it's actually a good movie, but you have to suffer through the first 30 minutes. <laughs> you have to suffer for the first you, you 30 get, minutes. Yeah, it's like And believe evil. me, you will suffer because it is grueling. It's like, why am I watching this crap? And then you get to the end of that 30 minutes, you realize that was technically the end of this movie. And I had no idea what on earth was going to happen next? Cause I was like, wait a minute. Like is the rest of it? Like I literally could not, I was like, I, I, like, is it going to be short films all put together? Is it like a, you know, like a trilogy or is it, I yeah. couldn't figure out what was going to happen. And then, then like an actual film started like with good photography. And I was like, Oh, so this is like, and <laughs> And it was kind of tricky because I didn't know if it was going to be like a, a like, like you a didn't know that the of behind the scenes kind of thing. But then it wasn't. It was like actors portraying the parts of the people making the film that we just watched, and the whole setup of like how they were going to do it and what it was for. And it was basically like a television like kind of like a shutter situation was going to be launching a station that was going to be horror films. And they wanted to start the whole thing by doing a one shot live horror film, zombie horror film. And (laughs) so it turned into like a legit film. And then they go through showing you them doing the one take film but from like all other angles. Yeah. And yeah, by the end the, of this movie, you see the, the production of it. Yeah. By the end. So you see why all of it was so weird. Cause there was a lot of the stuff in the 30 minutes that I was like, what the fuck is happening? Like, why <laughs> is this dialogue so bad? Why are they? And why did the guy yell at the camera just then? Like, 
Oh, are yeah. they actually talking to the camera, or are we supposed to be aware that the cameraman is like there? I was very confused. And then you finally see, like, when it unfolds, oh, that's what's going on. There's shit happening behind the scenes where it's fucking up their one take, but they have to keep going. And <laughs> because it's it is live. <laughs> fucking fantastic. So by the end of this, I was completely like blown away and my brain hurt because I could not even imagine because this is basically like the idea that you have to create three films in one yeah legitimately and then not only that but then the end credits of this and like I said spoilers all around here we're getting to the end credits before we (laughs) even start but the actual end credits is like the behind the scenes of the behind the scenes of the movie it's like I I'm, literally I couldn't my brain hurt and I was like I cannot believe that this is a thing that somebody came up with because I can't like I always wonder when when I saw Terry Gilliam's um, Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas to me that was like however he was able to organize getting all of the footage that he needed and somehow editing it into a film b- blows my mind that he was able to do that this is like eight million times more complicated than that. <laughs> I, I was like, I, I don't even like, I would never want to do it because it would just be a headache. <laughs> I would never do it. I'd want to be in it, but I don't want to, I don't want to do it. You don't want to like um, direct it. Oh yeah. No, I don't want to direct it or write it. Oh God. But, um, but I'll be in it. I'll be an actor. Um, I'll be a zombie. <laughs> that also seems like exhausting. Like, yeah. So, yeah, it's it's just it's just a lot and so much, and it goes through like real like realistic problems, like problems I've even had, like making like low budget movies, you know, like something breaks and you gotta you gotta be creative on the fly, like you can't really um, like do without the the scene, but also you like <laughs> need to like make do with like what you have. Um, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's a it's a lot. We can, oh, goodness, and it was that first that opening scene was one take, like it wasn't like there wasn't any fancy editing or anything like that. It was legitimately like one take. Yeah, they legitimately did do that <laughs> for the movie. Yeah, and, oh, and it's just got you like, and you've got like those very like little breaks and to be on and on and on. Uh, it just seems like a lot, um, but it also seems like a lot of fun, especially the crew, the people who are splattering blood everywhere that are like just like crouched in just like throwing <laughs> paint brushes oh, yeah. of blood all over that seems well like and it was even fun to see at the end like the end credits at the very the very very end <laughs> um like <laughs> you know like the the inception part where it's like you saw the actors doing that for the film that they were making but you also saw the real people doing the actual makeup and stuff mm-hmm. for the th- <laughs> so complicated like, <laughs> like yeah, I and it's like <laughs> you have to see it to get what we're talking about but it's 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 yeah. definitely in the first 30 minutes is definitely grueling like i had texted john before we started because i remembered i suddenly remembered that i almost didn't finish the film <laughs> i watched the I, first I... 30 minutes and i was like ready to turn <sighs> it off and I think I did turn it off, but Shutter was like, resume, you have like an hour left or something. And I was like, hello? An hour? <laughs> yeah. yeah. I was like, what more could they possibly show me? Like, I, it was, it was painful. And yeah. And then like, it turned out to be such a delight. It was so, I loved I it. I loved like the pomps all that over. That is one of the things about this movie. Like, I didn't know anything about it going into it, which I kind of liked. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, I cannot for the life of me think of how this would have, what am I saying? How, like, if, let's how say you're in a theater and you start this thing, you would never get to that part. You would get <laughs> up and leave because you're like, I just paid money to see this low budget bullshit, like without being aware of like, you know what i mean like 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 my friends like i would go see their their horror film 
Mm -hmm. going into it knowing that my friends made a horror film do you know what i mean yeah no no shade against them like i'm very proud of what they've done but at the same time like i know going into it this is not going to be for everybody like it's going to be for the people that really want to see it like i wouldn't bring like friends to go see this and be like well i guess i would if i told them what it was but that's the thing you have to tell them hey this is like a low budget horror movie that is gonna look really bad it's going to look cheesy. You know what I mean? Like you have to convince somebody to stay, to watch this whole thing. And the only reason I kept watching was because it was for this damn podcast. And I was like, she's going to ask me about the end of it. And I don't want, <laughs> I can't talk about a almost two hour movie if I've only seen 30 minutes of it. <laughs> so I had to keep going. I love bamboozling you john <laughs> you do you're obsessed with it i Ugh. am but i genuinely enjoyed this film like and and just well, by the way in the end, in the end. yeah but I, yeah even i will say i will say this too because even after the the 30 minutes of the ugh, and, and then you get to like the the live action like real movie part where it's like photographed well there was a few minutes that i fell asleep <laughs> And I was like, I, I woke up and watched the rest of it. But I think there was still like a weird, I don't know what's going on exactly. I get that we're seeing the lead up to them making this movie. But I was like, I don't know. It's still kind of boring. And But it was so exciting when they actually got to the part where they started making the movie. Yeah, yeah. So the part, the part that you may or may not have fallen asleep through uh, was just basically we were watching the director take on this film and he's i guess not doing so well financially he um but and he like kind of like wants to prove himself he does, he won't sacrifice like he, for his um he won't make sacrifices for the sake of his art um is is basically the director he wants to be from what i can tell and yeah. it's it's just watching him like take on these actors um and crew and just like making all these compromises uh, for his vision, because you know when you when you take a take on a team of like all these people, a lot of times everyone has their own vision of like what the script should be, and so you're watching these people come in um, and like question you know the script or like <laughs> like uh, the 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 main male actor, um, what was his name? I can't remember. Uh, but he, wait a minute, the, like now I want to say the guy that was? played the director or the, or the, the no, the, the youthful, the guy the who was youthful... in the zombie makeup, he played okay, like yeah. the love interest, like the big star that came in to do this. Low yeah. And he thing. was like, obviously it's about racism. I can totally see that like within the film. Um, and, but then he's like, why would zombies like use axes? They don't use axes. And then like someone else is like, I mean, they can use axes. There's all types of zombies like in the world. Like, why do they have to be like the one? And it's just like these people like arguing and questioning and just like, you know, like going against this creative vision. And this guy's just trying to make a good movie. Um, and like, <laughs> just like, and it's not even a movie. It's a, it's a TV show. And like the producers are like, <laughs> you have to remember, it's not one of your art pieces. Like, don't worry about it. Like. Like, you don't need the crane. Just cut it at the end, you know? Yeah. Just, like, little things like that. And so, like, and so we're basically getting introduced to the amount of, like, stress that he's actually put under um, to make this film. And when he, like, has his outbursts with the actress in the beginning, like, when he, because one of the actors, when they go to film the <laughs> the actual uh, feature, uh, drops out two hours before and they can't get anybody there because they're on location that like nobody could oh, get yeah, there in sooner than two hours it yeah was the, the woman that played the makeup artist and the guy that was going to be the the director in the movie yeah because it's like a movie within a movie within a movie and then there's a movie <laughs> yes <laughs> yes uh, it's yeah, literally and... <laughs> like inception horror film of some sort like it's so complicated i'm like what and trying to yeah. talk about it too it's like so there's a director and then there's a director, but yes, it's also a director. But the, but the director is playing the director. Um, 
<laughs> uh, but yeah, and so and so when he like snaps on the actress in the first like scene they're recording, they're like, "Oh, he's improvising," but he's like saying like everything you say is a lie, <laughs> like because she's like, "Oh, I would do vomiting, but like you know, my agency doesn't want me to be vomited on. They think it'll ruin my image. Just like little things like that." And he's like, "I get it. I understand." And she's like, "I would love to do it, but they won't let me." <laughs> she's like, "You just don't want to." <laughs> like you know and you can see him like have his like outburst and so they they're out the gate like improvising and they're like uh oh like this is going to be a disaster <laughs> because one the director isn't even in the in the room like directing things so it's his daughter that eventually steps in which is kind of cute yeah i like Amazing. that i like that whole part and the mom taking on the part of the makeup artist but <laughs> yeah. like she quit acting because she <laughs> she would get too into her parts <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and they're in a survival zombie movie, and so suddenly, <laughs> like she like, almost kills the actual actor, and they have yeah. to like choke hold her to get her to pass out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, their weird. husbands like you know you can you need to calm down you know like like be like when the camera's not on them like you need to calm down and she's like I've never been more calm in my life <laughs> and she's like dead behind the eyes. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh, that, that that's good. so fun yeah and and it's it, it was also nice to see like like this director had so much stress and so much pressure put on him that he like didn't realize like what a supportive like network he had within his family like his wife always like read his scripts and his oh, yeah, daughter she read was it, also like, 200 times or something <laughs> yeah it was something ridiculous so she was capable of like hopping in because she, one she had been an actress before and two she reads all of his scripts you yeah. know and uh, same with the daughter the daughter has taken on obviously uh, some things through observation like you know hanging out her like there are pictures of her and her father um her like his her father like recording and whatever with the them as kids which oh, is yeah, also like making movies and stuff together yeah it was super cute it was lovely i loved by the way that drunk zombie in the beginning like when we first meet the first zombie before we before we're before the bamboozle uh and he's just like <laughs> like hobbling and like sticking his head on the dude's shoulder and he's just like 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 a super incoherent like wobbly zombie yeah i don't know why but i loved it <laughs> i'm like that's so silly he's so silly well, <laughs> and I then also... we meet him and he's actually an alcoholic and then that's very sad <laughs> oh yeah it was it was um his character that was so sad but um <laughs> but also kind of funny because it's what fucked up the whole movie Yes. basically um well actually oh, yeah, I he think was like the was... first domino to fall over well no the second was, yeah I would the guess. first um also i mean there was so much of it that like i said was so frustrating watching the one take like without knowing anything else was going to happen in this movie and you're watching this and you're like like the sound guy the guy that would hold the boom mm -hmm. and there was like one point where he was just sitting there in the background like zombie shit's happening and he's just sitting there, like, looking yeah. like he didn't know what was going on. And I was like, why the fuck is that guy just sitting there? Like, what is wrong with him? And then you find out later, like, what? <laughs> he had horrible diarrhea. and he, <laughs> yeah. he just, like, could not. <laughs> he could not. He was just sitting there trying not to poop. <laughs> and then he, like, runs. He has to run out scene before his take is over. And... <laughs> And they're like, all right, we'll bring him back as a zombie. But, like, he can't get to the, the port of loose fast enough. And so he has to drop a deuce outside the building. And then the makeup <laughs> artist has to make him up. Because they while don't he's have time. While he's great. pooping. Oh, my God. She I'm looks good. so sad. She's like. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like. <laughs> <laughs> and the director's like, I got to go back in for my scene. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, what a And delight. you know what's funny, too, because you know me. Like, when I was mm -hmm. watching the first horrible part where I thought that this was what the movie was for as right? long as it was, too, because I kept pausing it. And I was like, I can't believe this is that long. Uh, <laughs> I kept saying, like, why can't anybody get naked, at least, in these goddamn things? Like, <laughs> like, can't somebody just take off their clothes and make this more interesting? But... 
No, Obviously, the most in the, the uh... end, it didn't need it, but <laughs> 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 but it could have used it in that first thirty minutes. You you had um <laughs> those when when the girl runs into the shed with the with the I don't know pentagram. Is that what they were trying to do? The big the oh, star I think that they so. yeah that they drew with blood on the shed. And she was sitting in the shed crying and, like, not really knowing, like, improvising, not really knowing, like, where she has to go next. And, like, the person, the zombie, the zombie legs come in, but it's, like, a crew member without pants. Yeah. With a, with a sign that says, <laughs> go, go outside and get an axe. <laughs> <laughs> and I thought that, too. Like, when that part happened, I was like, these people do not know what the hell they're doing. Like, none of this makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> like you really legit thought like this is the worst movie <laughs> that I've ever had to sit through. Like I appreciate your effort of trying to do a one take movie, but this is terrible. <laughs> like you should have done a second take. <laughs> like don't keep going. Cut, cut and reshoot. <laughs> cut, cut your losses, people. <laughs> exactly. Like we all wanna be by the Spice Girls. I mean, it looks like one take, but there's more than one. You could have fudged it. You could. <laughs> yeah, the and it's like the in the in the first bit, it's the dead air that really kills you. But then it it's like I don't know. It's like such like meat to the like the second half of the movie. Like I think that that provided so much more. Like when the <laughs> when I don't the first, I don't like zombie you... like comes in. Yeah, if and you don't suffer through that 30 minutes, and really, because it, it's almost like, and I, I don't think I've ever brought this up before, there's a movie, I, I don't know the name of it, I own it, but I can't remember, <laughs> it has a name, it's like the, the woman's name and her address in France or something, that's the name of the movie, and I might have mentioned this to you before but it's basically a movie where you're just watching this woman exist for three days like she doesn't do anything very exciting or anything but when you get to i want to say the third day or maybe it's two days i can't remember i'd have to see it again but you notice things because you sat through her existing for those two days or whatever it was like by the third day you notice something's off. Do you know what I mean? Like, but you had to have seen her existing in those other moments to understand that, oh, something's not right. Do you know what I mean? Mm, right. Like something's coming. Something is going to happen here. And that's exactly what this did. Like if you hadn't been painfully aware of those bizarre moments in the first half mm -hmm. where you're like, what the fuck is wrong with these people? They can't even make a movie right. And... <laughs> <laughs> You notice those weird things that happen. You know what I mean? Like the pauses where they kind of like stand there not knowing exactly what they're saying. It's like I kept thinking like this, the makeup artist specifically, I kept thinking this woman is a terrible actress. Like she can't remember her lines, obviously. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like I can't believe they would just continue making this goddamn movie. So, <laughs> so that's where, I mean and that's like I said like when, when I say like you know you just got a bunch of friends together this is the friend that clearly should not have been in the movie but she was anyway and in the end obviously it's a little bit different because she actually is capable but probably too capable but <laughs> but there were fucking things happening outside of her control that caused those things to happen so which is fascinating. I It really was, like, all around. Like, when you finally got to the end and you you got to see what was going on. Mm -hmm. it's it was a fun time. Very worth it. Very worth it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I also really dug. So, d during that bit, like, where they're, like, doing their read-throughs and such like that, and there's like um, the director of photography who won't let his assistant like contribute to anything. And she's like, oh, like, what if like during this scene we zoom in and out on the zombie? And he's like, no, absolutely not. But then like <laughs> at some point during the film, he trips and falls. 
<laughs> and oh, he yeah. can't get up. <laughs> and like the camera's just sitting on the ground and she grabs it and then when she's recording, it's just like trash. <laughs> she's zooming in and out, <laughs> and shaking the camera, and they're like, "Ooh, retro!" Like the producers on the other side, they're like, "Oh, look what's happening!" They're <laughs> like, like they're "Oh, there's a change of DP." Like they actually yeah. say that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How risque. <laughs> also, the the guy that is the director and played the director. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry. The dude was so attractive to me. <laughs> he looks like a Japanese variant of my brother. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> this one's oh, married. really? John and... says with interest. <laughs> like I like it, it, I think about it so much. I'm like, man, he looks just like Sebastian. Like. He was just, there was, I mean. <laughs> or Sebastian I mean, when, is a Cuban version of him. Either in way. The, in, the, um, in the first 30 minutes, which I honestly, to be honest, I'd have to, well, I, I don't know if I want to sit through it again. but <laughs> It was easier the second go, I pro- uh, oh, okay. for me anyway. But the, 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 it was the same actor consistently throughout the whole thing, right? Like, Yeah. Right? Like for the. I mean, because for some reason, like when they got to like the formal filmmaking portion, he didn't look like the same guy. So I couldn't tell if he was going to play the director at some point. And then when he did, I was like, oh, it is that guy. But he just didn't he didn't look the same to me for some reason. Hmm. But maybe it's that Aloha shirt he was wearing. I don't know. Well, no, even when he got up in costume and everything, I thought his beard was bigger in the one take. But it might have just been the poor film quality or something <laughs> that made it look thicker. Um, but dude, he was. Oof, I couldn't. I couldn't stop looking at him after. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, hello, hello. He had a nice booty too. It was very. It was very lovely. Oh, of course. Seriously, <laughs> lovely, lovely, lovely. Oh, um, did we talk about? Because you said that, like, I don't know how anyone would sit through it in theaters. Yes. Um, it it was a low-budget film. I think it was, uh, um, like, the end of, like, a class or a school or something. It was, like, their final project. It was only $25,000 uh, for their budget. That's... Um, yeah, that's not a lot. The whole that's not thing. a lot of money. Yeah. Like, all parts. Like, all the formal filmmaking and everything, too? Yeah, or... Uh, Three million yen, right? What's JPY? Japanese yen? I think so. Maybe I don't know. Who um, knows? <laughs> I'm, I'm the wrong this. person. Well, they made tw- uh, twenty-five million. Oh like, my god! In total. Holy shit! Like, wait a minute. Dollars yeah. or yen? Oh, uh, dollars. Oh. Because <laughs> that might Ameri- translate to American very doll low. hairs. <laughs> American doll hairs. Well, they also sold to Shutter because they're exclusive. Yeah, yeah. There was like an issue for a bit because it did pop out. It was popping like in and out of like streaming, but like with the wrong like subtitles. <laughs> what? Yeah, I don't know if people were just like guessing or just like, <laughs> I don't know, mucking things this up. This might be what he says. But, yeah. <laughs> it seems right. It seems right. <laughs> But they eventually sold to Shutter, which was which was nice. Which yeah, last time when you asked me like where we could watch it, I was like, last I watched it was on Shutter. I absolutely forgot that it was a Shutter exclusive. Yeah. <laughs> like it says it big, big slate in the beginning. I'm like, oh yeah, it's probably only available <laughs> on Shutter. Which great, great that you have access to that. Also, that's probably one of my sleeper uh, subscriptions. Like, Shutter's like, what, five or six bucks a month? But I yeah. find a lot more gems on it than I would than I was originally expecting. You know, I mean, I can see that about a few of us, I can't speak, a few of the um, cheaper ones where it's like, there's a lot on there that yeah. you're just not aware of. Like, Paramount, we got that one, and there's a lot on that thing. 
There's a oh, lot. Oh, isn't there Paramount isn't a, doing like... There isn't the Jenny McCarthy show, but whatever. <laughs> Paramount's uh, taking on Nickelodeon, right? Yeah, and MTV and... Which is why the Jenny McCarthy show should be on there. I mean, they do have Eon Flux, though. Like the original animation uh, show on there so everybody go watch eon flux um but they didn't have the jenny mccarthy show and i know we don't like her these days necessarily because of her anti-vax bullshit but the jenny mccarthy show on mtv after she left singled out was one of the funniest things i have ever seen to this day i think that's one of the funniest shows i've ever seen in my life i couldn't (laughs) believe how fucking funny that show was and I'm mad that you can't see it anywhere. Like, it's like the most unavailable thing in the world. But Melissa McCarthy, she was on that show because she's Jenna McCarthy's cousin or whatever. Right. And I knew of Melissa McCarthy way back then when she was doing that because I thought she was fucking funny. And every time they'd like, I don't know. You'd have to see the show. I can't explain it. But Suzanne Somers did the well, theme song. It's I mean, Paramount. it's just freaking amazing. It's such a good show. The Jenny McCarthy Show. A lot of people you would recognize, too. Actors. Oh, I bet. So I bet good. it was Jenny McCarthy. She was, like, on the up and up back then. Yeah. And then she quit that show and did some horrible sitcom. I, I think it was called Jenny. On, like, a major network or whatever. Like, ABC or CBS or whatever. And it was so stupid. It was like, why did you leave this brilliant show that you had creative something with you know what i mean like you could write it it was a sketch show so she, you know they could write and they would have the guests like they would bring in the musical guests it was fantastic like they would you know have their little moment erica badu was on it once it was amazing one of the best performances um but then they would always bring the artist over to like this big round bed and they would interview and my favorite thing ever was the cardigans were on there and the cardigans were snot bitches like they were so rude (laughs) and to everybody not just jenny mccarthy but when they got there they did their performance but then they sat down on the couch and they're like we weren't aware there was an interview they didn't tell us that we don't do interviews and they basically just would not talk to her and jenny mccarthy kept trying to get them to say something and they just wouldn't and i was like i am so glad they left that in there (laughs) they didn't edit it out they left it in. they're like yeah well perfect there's like no reason to like preserve that preserve like the image of them like they're like we got time to fill and these people are being dicks so let's just keep it in oh yeah because like tv shows especially um like tv shows on networks rather are like they were very much pressed for time where like like wasn't seinfeld like after it was syndicated like the the tbs or whoever had it like increased like the playback speed to like make room for like commercial breaks and such and a lot of stuff gets edited out for for commercials because you know you live and die by commercials for (laughs) for Uh, network tv they they actually did do that with um designing women when it was when it was first airing not just like syndication but when it was first airing their scripts were so long and they had so much dialogue, but they didn't want to cut it out because mm-hmm. it all worked beautifully. So they would like slightly speed up the footage. Mm-hmm. So, and they talk about it in like the the reunion show, like where she's like, "Yeah, every once in a while, if you'd watch it, like my voice was just a little bit higher than it should have been." Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was just like a common practice. Like if they couldn't cut stuff, like you, like you'll see like jokes cut out of like old old shows that like you've watched a hundred times and sometimes you'll be watching it and you're like wait a minute (laughs) well yeah i remember that joke yeah same with um because like i I own all the dvds for designing women of course um and i watch it on hulu just for the convenience of not having to go and change the discs Mm -hmm. and i'm so used to that show i mean i'm used to all of it so i know all the jokes all the punch everything all the visuals, everything. So when I was watching on Hulu, they cut things out. And I, I mean, we don't have the Hulu with commercials. So the only thing I could think of is maybe for that reason, like they just cut them out. But I mean, I don't know why they would, because it, 
it doesn't really matter on a streaming service, but yeah, that but seems... they definitely cut things out, and it was weird because you would get like the setup for the joke, but then you wouldn't get the joke. It was really weird. Oh, that's awful. I hate it. That's that. awful. I think there were problems with um, The Simpsons on Disney Plus. Well, that also with like them like they cutting the that. frames too. Yeah, they fixed it though. Yeah. Oh well, they good. did. They did. They do allow you to watch it in uh, full frame or widescreen. You can choose which one. And I think because all the the features that allowed you to do that for the old app that used to do it, it was like a Fox app of some sort. Mm -hmm. um, they did eventually import, but they were trying to get everything on there to Disney Plus so people could have something to watch. So they did it quickly and then they fixed it. Yeah. Well, I was like, I will not be watching this then because I'm a. There was something like that recently. <laughs> I'm an aspect with... ratio snob. Yeah. There was actually a. Um... Well, I don't rewatch Simpsons just because it's like fucking, what, 30 years? I mean, it's ridiculous. Well, yeah. I mean, it's exhausting. How much Simpsons? If they're still on the air, yeah. I mean, I'll it started pop those what nineteen eighty nine. Yeah, it started nineteen eighty nine. That's the exhausting. Year, the year of my birth. The Simpsons is as old as me. Exactly. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's nuts. I mean, congratulations, but Thank that's you. nuts. That's nuts. <laughs> <laughs> to you specifically, yes. Uh, <laughs> um. <laughs> I mean, that is that is an impressive feat to be on the air for that long, because it has to be one of the longest running shows in history at this point. Uh, yeah, I remember for a while it was, I wonder if it's the long, it has to be the longest running sitcom now, because it's obviously the longest running cartoon. But yeah, because for a while it was like married with children. How that was on for was like that, 11 though? years. Oh, because Friends was 10. Yeah, Married with Children was a, a teeny bit longer. And Married with Children was canceled without them knowing. <laughs> like, they, like, found oh, out from, like, shitty. the radio. <laughs> that's shitty. Yeah. And it's like, I'm trying to think of other shows that were long. I don't know. All I know is I know, it's funny because we love, show, you know, like, us as consumers, we love shows so much. But we don't have to be in them. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like because uh, tina fey talked about it in her i believe it was in her book Bossy where, pants? you know the um prime minister of england wanted to interview her at one point because they were trying to get british television to do the same thing american television does and have like you know 20 something episodes a season because in britain it's typical for you to have like six episodes in a season or less so I mean, possibly more if it's, you know, it depends. But, like, I think Doctor Who gets, like, maybe eight episodes. But you don't get very many. So they were trying to convince Tina Fey to, like, come over and be like, hey, you know, why don't you? And she's like, hell no. She's like, I wish we only did six seasons or six episodes a season because this is exhausting <laughs> to come up with, like, 20 episodes for a season. Like, it is a little insane like to that we want to consume that much of it but then again if it's a good show you just want it to keep going but then you don't realize like yeah like with friends like that went on for 10 years and it was like i mean these people have other things they'd like to do with their lives like they can't do this forever yeah there was a <laughs> there was a thing i remember with um what's his name he played al bundy um ed something anyway there was a movie that he tried to, because Married with Children was super popular when it was on air. Yeah. And uh, he went to play a serious role in a particular movie. I can't remember. I want to say it's A Few Good Men, but it probably isn't, where he was like, they had like this big reveal of of his character where they like shot him like from oh, the I feet. Oh, I remember and hearing they, like, this. And brought it up. And yeah. it was, and it was, um... Uh, the man who plays, I can't believe I'm blanking on his name, but the man who plays Al Bundy and yeah. everybody in the test screening laughed because they like was a joke because they all know who him as Al Bundy mm -hmm. and they were like, sorry, bud, like you can't be in the film because people don't take you seriously. That's horrible. Isn't that horrible? Yeah. I hate that. That, that sucks. But anyway, Shudder. If you don't have it, I recommend it. 
Oh, yes. I like how that's what started. <laughs> Ed O'Neill. <laughs> that Our was tangent good. just went way off. But yes, that's yes. The, the, the gist of it is get Shutter. It's great. Yeah, check it uh, out. Check it out. It is, it is <laughs> not expensive. I would die. Shutter, Shutter if you want us to us. review any of your films that are coming out, we will do it. We will talk about it. We will love it. It'd be great. <laughs> Especially if they're like this one. Great. I'm, I'm yeah, all for this it. This is great. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah. yeah. Yeah, they also shot it in uh, eight days. Oh, wow. The yeah. whole thing? Yes, John. The whole thing cost 25000 the whole thing, uh, 25000 American. And the whole thing took eight American days. Actually, eight that's American not true. Days. It, 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 they were Japanese days. <laughs> I mean, come on. We don't need everything. God, America. Uh, <laughs> you know, the days are yeah, American? Yeah, we don't Jeez. own time. <laughs> no, we do not. I bet we would if we could, though. <laughs> I bet we would try and fail miserably. Um hopefully we would fail miserably <laughs> god yeah nobody wants to live to our time standards like no, nobody wants to live to our standards <laughs> <laughs> we are a mess over here if we have overseas listeners which i know we do we are a mess over here <laughs> yeah yeah and you know we just you know I right. mean, me Good and Ashley are doing our do best, it. but <laughs> we don't we don't do all the things that are whatever. You know what I mean? That's we're not true. power. That's true. We are, we, we barely were, have health care. Yeah. Oh, geez, we, of which we pay for. Don't get me pocket. started on that. I'm terrified to go to a doctor now because they're probably going to say, "Who? I can't believe you've made it this long." <laughs> <laughs> you know, the classic thing doctors say to you. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. You're How walking? old did you say you were? Because <laughs> you got the body of a 96 year old man. <laughs> oh, God. I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> Honestly, I would just sit there like, uh huh. I could have told you that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm paying you. <laughs> now give me some drugs. Um, no, please don't. I don't. <laughs> I don't. I don't want anything. Um, yeah. Yeah. That's how they get you. The pills. They want me to pop all those pills. I don't want to pop the pills. Yeah, but you know, um, they get paid when you do. What? Nothing. <laughs> I said they get paid when you do. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, but yeah. So, final thoughts. Um, excellent. I'm glad oh, I suffered. Because, wow. no joke, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not kidding. Like, when I, I was so, I wanted to text you so bad. Be because like, I was I, like. And use your veto, but you knew your veto was for gone in 60 seconds. What? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I would, I want, well, first I wanted to text you when it started. And I was like. Like, motherfucker, why are you making me watch this shit? But <laughs> then I wanted to text you, like, midway, where I was like, holy shit, wait a minute, what's happening? And then I wanted to text you at the end, like, oh, my God, that was amazing. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> Standing ovation. Yeah, you, you didn't give me any information whatsoever. Like, you... Because normally, like, if you're enjoying a film, you'll or even if, like, a film is, like, way too radical, you'll text me. You'll text yeah. me just, like, a text. That a is snippet. <laughs> just, like, a little, like, a little bit of something. And you didn't. You just, like, I watched the movie. And I was like, <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> and then I was like, wait, did you, like, watch past the first 30 minutes and you were like I watched all that it had to offer <laughs> I was like oh <laughs> I did and then I wanted to make sure that well no because what did I actually I, I said what did I say because I had to text you afterwards like wait a minute that might sound like I didn't watch the whole thing <laughs> I, 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 I said, watched all that was presented <laughs> yes all that was presented and I thought well wait a minute the end credits happen at 30 minutes so <laughs> yeah and they're long <laughs> So maybe like I should credits. tell her I watched the whole thing. 
<laughs> so yes, yes. Yeah. Um, and, and I really poof, did. I John wanted to text it. you so bad, but I was like, no. And then I was worried because <laughs> ever since you told me that you check out what your friends watch on, what is that thing? Letterbox. Letterbox. I was like, I'm afraid to rate this because I don't want her to see that I really loved it. Because <laughs> I did. I rated it really high. Um, <gasps> Oh, wow. Because I really, I was so impressed by it. Um, and, you know, seriously, like, well, I mean, we told the kids to stop, uh, the footsies to stop early on mm -hmm. here and watch the movie if you haven't. And if you didn't heed that advice, you know, please go and watch it anyway. Because you will enjoy yeah. it. I mean, I we think... ruined it for you because it would have been much better if you didn't know. And that's, yeah, but that I'm pretty thing. sure if you if you if it was spoiled and you're watching it, that first 30 minutes is long enough for you to forget, forget that, something <laughs> that there's good anything might after <laughs> anything worthwhile after. You're going to be like, what could it be? <laughs> what Honestly, could it possibly that's true. Be? That is true. Yeah. If you haven't seen it and you you just heard us talking about it and you know what, you will forget that there's something good coming. <laughs> Because it's not good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, it's tough. It's a it's a tough tough little ditty. Rough but rough thirty minutes that will make yeah. you really put your fist up in the air, Ashley. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I, mean, I can't that's even like tell you my recommendations. But but I will say this: my dedication to your choices <laughs> is so is so deep. That I was willing to sit there for almost two hours watching a horrible piece of crap just because I knew I had to get to the end. I mean, oh, God, I could not believe that I was watching such horror. And then, <laughs> <laughs> like, in a bad way, not a good way. And, but to get to the end, it was, it was fantastic. I loved it. Good. What would you rate it? I would rate it um, eight toes. Oh wow! I loved it. I I yeah, really think it's a good it was. Time. <laughs> it was so uh, everything about it, like uh, to even, and it was based on a play, by the way. Did we mention that? I didn't know that. It was said it on the end. I was like, wait a minute, this is based on a play. How the fuck does this work as a play? And now I I want to see that play. <laughs> <laughs> how does that work as a play? Um, no joke. I, how does that work? I bet you it's some yeah. kind of crazy ass awesome play where you're seeing a shitty play and then it turns into a brilliant play <laughs> yeah or like what if what if like the first the first bit they like take the play at face value but then the second half the the stage like the stage set is like flipped so you're seeing like behind it oh god that'd be so fucking cool that would be i want to see that play i want to see that play so bad yeah let's find yeah. the play let's find the play Let's put the play on. Let's do it. <laughs> All over Zoom. Um, <laughs> that would be, sp I would really love to see that play. Um, but anyway, uh, if it comes to Tampa, please let me know. Um, but yeah, what would you rate it? What did you rate it? I would rate it about the same, seven and a half to like eight toes for sure. Yeah. I, I like, it's, it's like even, because I watched it again before recording this obviously i've seen it once and i've seen it twice um but when i like i i just genuinely like laughed a ton throughout the film it was just, oh yeah it's fantastic it was just fun like especially the pomps i those just got to me every time she's just like pop <laughs> and she like does her self-defense stuff <laughs> and they're trying to like take her down and she's just pomping out of them i love that <laughs> she really did do that a lot it was great <laughs> just such a delight absolutely yeah. now do you have a recommendation for it oh god um we know this is coming every freaking week it's okay every, i always come with two every episode <laughs> not every week because it's been a while since it's been every week um i feel like there is a suggestion somehow i just can't think of what it would be all right well my suggestion yeah what would yours? be I, I want to say Anna and the Apocalypse just because that's also a fun zombie movie. 
I would say. It's not torturous in the same way, but it is like a delight. But if you want like a weird, like comedy Japanese horror house or oh, like God, I love house. Yeah. We've been we I want to do that on the podcast at some point. Yeah, we we keep meaning to do it for uh for our uh, Terror Tuesdays. Yeah, stuff. but we, we keep it keeps getting left out. Uh, we'll, do we'll do we'll it. We'll do it. We'll do it. We'll do it because that one is a good dead. time, and that one I I felt turned around from beginning to like to the, then to the meat of the film. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I freaking I mean I bought that sight unseen just for the cover. It's and a beautiful cover. Beautiful cover. And uh, I was not disappointed. I mean, I get what you're saying, though, because it was like, what the fuck is this movie about? And then when you get to it, you're like, this is fucking fantastic. Yes. Uh, (laughs) Absolutely. I want to, I really, I was trying to think about if there is a film similar where it turns but I yeah like where you think it's one thing and then it becomes another well I will say I will say well I I do have I think I have two suggestions but they're kind of weird but I'm gonna also (laughs) mention based on that what we just said like the the split in two kind of thing Mm -hmm. um full metal jacket and I'm I'm sure I've mentioned it before but um that one is split because they they do boot camp and then they go to Vietnam. And I think the most brilliant thing, and I brought this up before, is that Stanley Kubrick filmed it in reverse. So he filmed all the Vietnam stuff first and then did the boot camp because he had to shave everybody's head when they uh, entered into the military or the yes. uh, Marines. Um, so he did it in reverse. But when they went to go make a trailer, <laughs> they only had footage from Vietnam. So they assembled a trailer with footage from Vietnam. So when you went to the theater, you had no clue that you were going to be in boot camp. And to me, I thought that was genius. I'm like, it was not on purpose technically, but it was genius. Cause it was like, you had no idea that you were going to be spending so much time with this particular part of the story. And then, you know, you get this like, where's Vietnam? I mean, this is like 30 minutes or more. I can't remember exactly how long, but it's it's pretty long. <clears throat> and then then you get to Vietnam and you get the the full full picture. But anyway, so that one's one of those where it's kind of interesting. But it, you know, since everybody knows Full Metal Jacket very well now, especially Gomer Pyle and all that stuff, like that's very well known. So it's not quite as exciting as if you had seen it blind when it came out in '87. But anyway, um, I would suggest. Birdman. Oh, okay. Because it's another one take. One cut. Very cleverly done. I mean, obviously that one's a little bit different because they probably didn't do it all in one take. They definitely (laughs) did not. (laughs) No. Um, (laughs) But if you want to see an actual one take film, um, and it is spectacular, it's called Russian Ark. And I own it on Blu-ray. I never got rid of it because there's no way I'd ever get rid of that film. It is absolutely remarkable. And I almost picked it. I almost picked it recently because I was like, I really want Ashley to see this fucking film. It is so spectacular. Um, But it's not like uh, this or like Birdman. It's like he actually did have to do one take for this entire film. The coordination of trying to do that is mind-boggling when you actually see this film mind boggling because it 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 goes through different time periods and it's all set in uh the winter palace in russia it's Mm -hmm. insane they have like like all the music is practical too so when you hear music it's actually being played in the building and it's um i think they have like three full-size orchestras in the building to play different parts of the film it's it's insane and like thousands and thousands of people had to like that similar to this mind-boggling how you'd even construct the idea of this movie and then to actually do it is like i'm glad you did so i could see it but i certainly (laughs) don't want to be in charge of any of that (laughs) 
so good so fucking good so the yeah that that more than anything would be my suggestion is russian arc definitely see it if you can find it right on it's worth it all right well do you want to do you want to tell the footsies what we're watching next week yes um excuse me i'm burping a little bit (laughs) oh it's been so long Uh, (laughs) since i've burped in a microphone um chris our next film is Throne of Blood by Akira Kurosawa, and I believe it's 1950, Fifth, I'm blanking, 57 maybe? Yeah, 1957. 57, yeah. And I have, <laughs> I was about to bring up some things, but I should probably save it for the episode. <laughs> That's right, you should. <laughs> uh, I wanted to immediately blurt out facts about the film, uh, but I will not. Um, fantastic fucking film. So if you guys get a chance, go see that or find it somehow. It might be on Criterion Channel, but I'm not sure because I own oh, it. So I don't really. It's got to be, right? I don't know. It, I mean, it. I hope so. Cause it I, probably I mean, is. It, it probably is. Because I can't do an imagine. internet search. Yeah. But it's, um, it's on Criterion. So, and uh, it is the first uh, Kurosawa film I ever saw. And now it will be Ashley's first film that she's ever seen by Kurosawa. Wait a minute, is it? Oh, yeah, for sure. Okay, good. Uh, <laughs> I, mean, <you> know, <laughs> I was going to pick a different one, but I was like, no, it's got to be that one. Because, and you'll see why. I mean, this one um, is something that has been on my list to see, actually. Oh, good. But, oh, very good. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a retelling of Macbeth. I'll say that. Oh. But it's in Japanese, delightful. no theater style, sort of. I mean, we'll get into it. But it's Perfect. amazing. Perfect. Excellent. Yeah. Go All watch right. it, kids. Well, Putsies. <laughs> well, until next time, uh, be sure to like, subscribe, review. Oh, yes. Uh, Give us a little, a little holla if you want at onefootpodcast at gmail.com or on our social medias, Instagram, Twitters, Facebooks at One Foot Podcast or One Foot on the Ground on Facebook. Right? Yeah. Is that it? Is that yeah. all we have? That's it. Cool, cool, cool. And uh, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. <sighs> They can't see me, but I do the arms every time. (laughs) Yeah, it's the only way it works.